I think Endpoint is just going to overall win out due to pressure. Well, let's find out as we get game number one started. Endpoint in the blue, TSM in the orange, and Endpoint starts on offense. A shot from Milady Wave to the back post. How about it? What a way to start. They freeze Remco here in the corner. He tips it across, and Virtuoso goes for the demo. And Matt Sonaris is expecting Remco, Remco to continue that play across the goal. And unfortunately, uh, getting right in the face of him is Endpoint, and he can't make the continuation and wave with a great float to the back post. We saw Relating Wave a few weeks back have a incredible game one performance. We'll see if he can replicate it here. It's that first goal early in game number one. It's notched down to the corner. Remco. Out to his teammate Magnus. Relating Wave waits out one and now goes for the solo play, but gets the ball taken away from him. Metzenaris will play to the corner, tries to catch the defense, turning around. Virtuoso is able to control this one into the midfield. Can he find the next touch over the top of two? Magnus Ooh. makes the save, and there's no immediate follow-up, but the pinch out to Relating Wave sets it up. Is Virtuoso anywhere to be seen? As he fell back. Now, back over the top. Remco with a miss. Virtuoso extends it to the corner. Now, Nachito moves out of the way. Relating Wave past one. The Lightning Wave coming down off that ceiling, keeps it in the midfield, a demolition under Remco, but not before he touched it off to the edge and Magnus was able to pick it up. The first minute now, gone, approaching 340 here on the clock, still just the one goal from Endpoint. Just the one goal, but currently that's been enough versus a team like TSM. And to be fair, you know, while I do rag on, you know, TSM's 1.07 goals per game, right? They have had some phenomenal dribbles and big individual effort plays. It's just, I feel like across the board as a team, that's where they're struggling to really gel. And here's a great chance to catch in point on the counterattack. But Rimko got a little too much of it and just dumped it a little too far. Magnus was able to touch it in the midfield and slow the pace down. Stall things out for just a moment, but now end point. Advancing on offense again. Magnus plays it to the corner. Now lofted. Here comes Relating Wave. Shot wide, a block oh. onto this follow-up of the double tap. Virtuoso now looking to try and keep this one going, but runs into Remco, and Magnus should be able to clean this one up. Nashito in the corner just bounced it right off of his bumper. Virtuoso now, another play. That's an and Remco able to deflect it and get it back to midfield. Remco is using all of his boost just to try and hold on to ball control by himself and just runs into a single player and then is out of the play. Now Virtuoso through the air, looking up against Magnus. He sends it high and a follow up. Two players up for it. Ooh, there DSM you go. with an empty backfield to shoot at. Can they get there in time? Magnus, the pass up to Metzenaris. Does he put it on target? The pass in from Remco. Oh my goodness. Metzenaris gave it to Remco and the shot was wide. They could have caught Endpoint with their pants down, but instead they just walk right on past the room. They could have. But unfortunately, I think Remco actually wasn't going to be able to score that ball either way. The only place it goes in is that lower right-hand corner. And they actually had that one covered. So it was that touch uh, when they initially could have caught in point on the transition with a wide open goal. That ball kicked out to the side wall and it delayed it just enough to let in point make it back in time. But tough break for TSM. Virtuoso coming in for a shot. Notch down relating wave, try to set it up. Relating Wave onto the backboard. Remco with a catch. Machito will stop it. He's got Virtuoso Airborne as well. And I like how aggressive Endpoint's being, seeing the ball lofted and immediately taking flight, even if it's not the best challenge or the best read. So just being confident in their abilities like that, Machito up so high. Now looking for the pass, Virtuoso goes for it. Two players commit on defense and the net's open, but shot wide by Relating Wave. And we'll come into the final minute Still just that first opening goal for Endpoint and an attempt for TSM. It's not going to happen. Remco back around. Over to Magnus. Back into Remco. Doesn't make uh. contact. Relating Wave will stop the third man. A miss from one. Nachito in the corner. Stops two. A miss from Virtuoso, but off of Relating Wave. It goes back in front of the box. Virtuoso now with the extension. Relating Wave 
possibly in a position to clean this up. Look for goalies. Didn't find anything. Virtuoso demolished before he could put on a second goal. 30 seconds left. Magnus traps it against his own crossbar, and Metzenares will find the clear. 26 seconds now. And TSM still needing to find this tying goal. They can play into zero second time, but you don't want to have to as they get it past one. The relating wave will send it all the way back down. 14 seconds left. Virtuoso hold on to control. Up against Magnus. Nice bump. Achitao keeps this pressure on. A long clear to Relating Wave. He sends it to the far side. It's looking all but over here as Relating Wave keeps this one dangerous. Coming back down, it will touch 1-0 from Endpoint. They scored in the first 12 seconds, I think, and then nothing for the rest of the game. Yeah, they scored uh, six seconds with that kickoff goal and then kept the pressure the rest of the game. Three shots for TSM, all of them. Uh, one of them was uh, the, the quick counterattack where the, the ball delayed just enough in the midfield. Uh, the other one right at the end where they had that pass across uh, Magnus into the middle from Remco and he just got a little bit too far inside the ball and kicked it wide. And here's that goal. It's Virtuoso freezing Remco so he stops the defense from TSM uh, understanding exactly which way the play is going. Like you'll see Remco right here. He just can't follow up that ball and Metza turns out thinking, oh, well, now I got to make a save and a perfect float from a leading wave. And that's all it took. And, and that game literally played out exactly as I thought it would. You actually touched on it a little bit in the middle of that game wave. Uh, you, you were liking the fact that Team Endpoint just willing to go so hard for some of those challenges from far away and just get in the face of TSM. And yeah, that's that's the reason they're going to win this series because they'll go for the challenge. But the important thing is, is that they touch the ball. And if they miss, they're going to be in trouble, but they haven't missed yet. And TSM just doesn't have the, the offensive power at all this season to make anything happen if they do miss. So I'm not worried about it. I mean, I people say five on the desk. I'll bite on a 3-0 for endpoint. That's how little faith I you have can, in TSM. Getting uh, are the job you, are done. You, do you give Shogun his uh, his 3-0 with three goals? The 3-1-0 sure. games? Yeah. Oh, well, okay. going to start so off the they, same way. Man. They, they, we have only seen goals scored in the first seven seconds so far this series. As this a is a just bona fide kickoff goal. That, that, nobody Jeez. even went. Nobody even they, went I don't, for TSM. I don't know what's happening. Seems good. <laughs> It'll be all right. Remco now, an attempt. And if if uh, the, the the thing is the thing about the one goal games achieves is that. That means we're done seeing anything happen for the next four minutes and 45 yeah. seconds. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Can TSM bring it back? As they have given up a goal in the first 10 seconds of both games one and two. And for game number one, that was all that mattered. Can they find a way back into this? The leading wave to pick this up. Virtuoso lofted it. Nachi Town will find the clear. Virtuoso and the extension and the counter from Remco. Now Nachito. Long boomer again. Metzenaris out to Remco back. on the far wall. A nice control. He's got Magnus in the midfield if he can find a way to get it to him. But no, just puts it straight on target. The ball will die in front of the box. Virtuoso gets bumped. Relating wave just sits there and blocks the shot. Metzenaris has to push it into the defender. Now Magnus looking for the ceiling play. Past one. Can he find a second touch? No. And Virtuoso will send it off to the edge. Now Nachito up against Metzenaris. Back down. Virtuoso looks for a clear. Magnus sends it into Remco. Shot on goal and relating wave makes the block the best offensive moment we've seen from TSM this series. And the defense holds. It was a tight one. A tough play to make on defense. And the triple commit there from endpoint. They are going to have to run. Remco floats into the middle. Oh. And Magnus taken away by Virtuoso. A couple of big stops from endpoint diving back out of the midfield. Virtuoso on the rotation back, picks up boost. But gets demolished by Magnus as he rotates out. Notch toe over the edge. Waiting wave to the corner. Magnus lofts, but then is demolished. Here comes Notch toe up against Metzenaris. Neither player making really solid contact. Here, Remco's shot, I think good. But Virtuoso will get in the way. Now, Relating Wave waits for that to come back down, bumps into his teammate, and now goes for the solo carry. Remco with the stretch. Virtuoso should have this one for free. Gets it off the edge, but Magnus now has it. Remco looks for the goalies, doesn't find them, and a relating wave will get the clear. Back pass from Metzenaris. Virtuoso pass two, traps it against the wall. Magnus plays it to the corner. I think the ball is spending more time in these corners than yep. anywhere else in the field right now. 
Yeah, it's definitely been a, a corner-centric game, and that's a high still move in the midfield. But again, you see Endpoint able to rotate back out of the midfield just faster than TSM can start the counterattack. But to TSM's credit, they are hanging on to that ball and starting to generate their own pressure. They are at least out shooting in point oh, here. Oh, what? Well, there goes the 1-0 the, the, the games on, what? I think this is just a, this is just a bona fide own goal. I think he was looking for a back pass to nobody. And then point will take a free one. Yeah, you'll take that. I mean, Magnus, I, I think the idea is take that ball straight across and go to the other end of the pitch, but it just came a second late and he ends up putting it right in his own net. We're waiting wave out to Virtuoso. They'll find a third goal, this one earned. A nice outfield pass quickly, just catching TSM a little bit slow. Yeah, Remco expecting Metza to have a ball into the middle. Magnus trying to play that near post defense and maybe avoid a bump because he kind of tucked himself behind that goal post, but Ends up just being subject to a brutal redirect into the back post, unsavable. I do, I do feel like TSM. We we discussed that like the advantage the Endpoint has is just the out aggression, being willing to go for things, being willing to challenge things, and, and maybe maybe the answer for TSM is a bit more of what well, oh, Metzenaris finds a way to put it in. <laughs> you know, any way you find out a way to score. I mean, it wasn't exactly the prettiest shot, but it works here for Metzenaris. He got one and then two touches to push this in. Yeah. Yeah, Relating Wave was definitely in a bad spot. He had two people on TSM coming out of the goal behind him as he has to prepare for a shot to come his way. If, if TSM managed to miss that shot, you, you can just relegate him now. To try to move up. That's Naris to Magnus. Looking for goal number two. Could really bring them back into this game. Relating Wave back down in the edge. Virtuoso now relating wave. Virtuoso is up in front of him. Magnus gets airborne first. Plays it to the corner. Relating wave on the ground. Now looking for the carry up against Magnus. Can he find the flip reset? Actually does, I believe, and relating wow. wave. Kind of jackhammer pogo sticks this off and into the corner. Let's find an answer here. Did he get it? Oh, he definitely did. He, does, he flipped that <laughs> shot. That's the craziest oh. thing I've ever seen. That was sick. You definitely don't see one like that every day. <laughs> That's a fun one. Oh, you know, like a, like, a, like a tornado goal? I don't know what you call that. I, I, I don't really yeah. need a name. It's seen as I don't think it'll happen ever again, but my goodness. I like the pogo stick. That was good. <laughs> Bounces it off. 50 seconds left, and this game definitely now out of reach for TSM. But we, well, I was talking with Leaf and Gibbs yesterday about what we thought was going to happen today, and one of the things that uh, Leaf said about a team that's coming up later, Mouse Sports, he's like, this is like a, a, a monkey mode team. They're just like, just go, 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 just be aggressive. We'll just, just, just hit the ball. We'll figure out what happens afterwards. And Endpoint seems like a slightly more refined but less r mechanical raw skilled version of that. And the thing about that mentality is it's not that hard to just adopt or just to try. Like to perfect, yes, definitely difficult. But to, to just do isn't that difficult. I feel like TSM could try it. Just be, just just go for things. Just see what happens, you know? You're Metzenaris and Magnus. You're Remco. You, you know, this, like, just just play. Just just ball chase a little bit more and just see what happens at this point. Because the defense, the, the defensive kind of calculated positioning is not working for them as Endpoint takes game two. Well, what's funny is, is you say that, and you're absolutely right. Like, you, it's, you've seen it before, like, from TSM in this season. Like, when they come out there, like, they're just upset and tired of losing. They're a team that's fast. They're in their in your face. It, it, I, I believe it was, was it literally yesterday or was it the week before yesterday? I don't even remember. But it's like, I, I remember watching a couple TSM games and I'm like, oh my gosh, they came out here to play Rocket League today. And unfortunately, yeah. it, it's still not enough. They just don't get anything done. And it's like, it, it sucks to watch because it, it's three great players uh, oh. in this game. And, and yeah. Team Endpoint are scoring goals like that and if you're the guy on the goal line, you're like, what in the world even was that? Yeah, for sure. No, and everybody, for anyone in chat that doesn't understand what happened, there's like the, the as Relating Wave is coming down, he manages to land all four wheels on the ball, which resets his ability to, to dodge, to flip. And as he lands, the ball is kind of leaned up against his wheels, and then he 
flips sideways, twisting his car into it, and that's what shoots the ball into the net. Really crazy way to shoot a goal. I don't think I've ever seen one like it in RLCS. So I definitely, definitely, I think the play of the day so far. We had some pretty crazy plays in series number one, but endpoint now, 2-0 up on the series. They win it here. We're going to see, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Remco Another changes it up. <laughs> no, Remco brings out ah, the, the Venom. Venom. An OG car. Shout out to Fusho Kid. The only player I know who still maintains this car. Uh, to but I, fair, love, I love I... the mentality. It's Something's not working. We got to change it up. Oh, my goodness. We're getting away with another banger of a shot. What are you talking about? To get another early goal. It rolls around the wall. Everyone forced off the goal line. Magnus and Metza caught too far forward and relating wave. That's just a beautiful read of, and, and understanding of how that ball is coming around that corner. Stay away from it and let it come to him. My goodness. <laughs> relating wave having a wonderful series. As Absolutely. end point right now up two games and now up in the third. I've only had, I believe, three sweeps in Europe so far this season. It's been a very, a very even season. But right now, Endpoint trying to make a case to do it to TSM. It's Magnus to the corner, Virtuoso. We'll look to keep it there. And you know, Not to going. go back to, uh, sorry, what, what we were talking about with the Venom, I actually really like the car. Um, the model itself, if you notice those cutouts on the front by the nose, mm. it's actually a great indicator of where you can cut the ball to get it on top of the car. <laughs> it's pretty great for that. It doesn't, I mean, it's every, the, my favorite thing about the car is the super open wheel design. It's like, if you get some cool looking wheels, you got a great, it's, it's a wonderful car to show them off. Cars like the Fennec, it's like they cover up most of them. But here we comes, uh, here comes TSM looking for that first goal. Struggling to get out of their own half right now. Honestly, kind of getting, getting beaten a lot of places as Metanar's up. He'll see if he can stretch this to Magnus, but Magnus used a lot of boost just to get that first save. And he's going to be completely out. So Nachitel in net should have this one for free. Just gets... The banger clear to the corner, and Remco with a miss. Nachitel with an extension. Is that going to drop in? Oh, it is 2-0 now for endpoint. Yeah, yeah, you said it. Remco with a misread. Metz is sitting behind him, expecting him to get the touch, and realizes after Remco missed, he tries to close the gap to go and pick up the slack, but it's already too late. They've already got the read on the shot, and he is truly beat to that ball. And as long as it's on target, it's going in. Another shot. Is this one the kickoff going to go in? Virtuoso will make sure it does. 3 0s, end point. Looking to sweep TSM and run away with the series. Brutal. A pinch challenge. Mets are trying to rotate back and get behind the ball. It basically bounces into him. It doesn't matter if anyone is there from end point or not. He's going to own goal that ball. And TSM, that's that's what? Four, four kickoff goals against them now? Five yep, kickoff well, goals against let's them make it now. five. Just continue to rack them up. As I, I, I don't know if this is just TSM being broken or Endpoint continuing to find new ways around, but a great setup to the corner and then immediately challenges the goalie. Magnus not ready to get up and get the stop. And this one is just a blowout at this point. This is it. They're currently up nine goals to one on TSM. TSM definitely needing to, needing to go back to the drawing board over the course of this week and maybe the rest of the season to genuinely rebuild themselves on the ground up because right now it's not working Jeez. as a fifth goal goes in. Brutal. I mean, Metza gets one. Virtuoso's right behind him. Rimco, awkward ball, and Magnus has to dodge the demo first. So he's late getting up to that. And even still, Virtuoso's got the speed coming into the goal. So he's going to win the physics battle just because he's got, you know, vector advantage, basically, and he just drills it through him. There's through one, three players in enemy territory. The pass there, the shot just a bit wide. Mitsunaris will be able to make a save. Keep it from being a 6-0 game. You know, Chiefs, it's been a long time since we've had a Brazil in the RLCS. Yeah. I wouldn't mind. I feel like it'd be a great way for Endpoint to well, make a statement here. Well, here's the question. Do you think TSM is going to get to play offense? Do you, no, the, the question is, is Endpoint BM enough to own goal once, no. once they get to seven? I, no, I, come I don't on. think so. <laughs> It would be disrespectful See, for sure, but you know, it'd be you know stylish. why? It, I, the reason I don't think they're BM enough is because oh. when you're sitting at one and four and you're about to be two and four in the season, you're gonna need all <laughs> yeah. the gold differential you can get for the tiebreakers. So you're not gonna give them. It's true. 
That's true. Well, and yeah, luckily for them, the sweep is actually so good because of those, the first tiebreaker of game differential. The type, blah, 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 yeah, first tiebreaker being game differential, absolutely. This is a wonderful, uh, like the literally the best result Endpoint could have hoped for. Yeah. As at this point, 145 left to go. Three. Yeah, the, with, it, with there being a minute and 40 left on the clock, you might be sitting at home saying, no, there's still time left. Like, no, down by five goals. I, I am willing to call this series already and say there is no way the TSM comes oh, definitely. back into this. This um, one's toast. Despite despite their best efforts. If there was ever a time to practice a new style, though, this is definitely the time for TSM. And, you know, you can actually look at, you know, the remaining schedule for Endpoint and maybe start to get a little bit of speculation going because they're going to get the 3-0 here versus TSM. They're going to play uh, Dignitas next week, probably a loss, but they also get to play Singularity. That's a winnable game. And they close mm -hmm. out the season against Mouse. And if Mouse continues this sort of up and down, we play up, we play down, it's very possible that if Endpoint has a great series like today, they can also knock off Mouse. There's a very real chance they end up near 500. Yep, that'll be they'll put them at four and five on the season, and that I mean that's that's a possibility of being a playoff level team. So we'll see we'll see how things evolve for Endpoint, who definitely started off the season. A bit rough, but they, they started off playing against Barcelona, Vitality, Reciprocity, and Veloce, all teams you kind of expect them to lose those Near games. The top. Um, and the one game that they, the one win they have right now is one of the only other sweeps so far in the season. Actually, of the three sweeps that have happened, they will have been a part of three of them after after this end. There will be four sweeps in Europe. They will have been, they will have swept twice and been swept once. So, end point, definitely a hot or cold team. With the final 10 seconds wrapping down, the series has been over for a while. But congratulations, Endpoint, putting up some effort. And hey, thank you so much, Remco, for let me see a Venom on the RLCS. It's been a while. So I'll put this into the ground, and there it goes. Endpoint, quick work, as they put up 10 goals to just the one of TSM. An absolute spanking. Brutal. Uh, went about as well as I expected. Unfortunately, we will have to wait another day. Uh, for the 3 0, 3 to 0. Uh, this, this quickly got about as far away from that as we possibly could have. Exactly. It, it was right there until they had the Magnus own goal in game two, where he tried to take away like a, a shot or something and ended up own goaling that. And after that point, it was literally a straight nosedive for TSM. Uh, yeah. They, they just looked crushed after that and then they had it like was five kickoff goals half the goals they scored were kickoff goals they were How? i think they were i think they were genuinely mentally boomed by the jackhammer pogo stick they were like what yeah. was that <laughs> and that was the end of the series they genuinely didn't know what to do well we'll let them go take a rest folks tsm falls to one and six but endpoint gets their second one up to two and four now we've got quite a few more matches left today as we've got europe going on and then also north america later right now we're gonna have veloce trying to make a case for top two they got to get through mouse sports that's their next challenge we'll see them after the break